Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to share with you guys three different ways to make a junk journal cover. Okay, so let's see. So what I want to do is just show you guys here. The first way to make a cover is you could do it with acrylic paints. So I have this one in my Etsy shop. I just finished it. Uh, I'll put the link down below to show you guys. It's my little rooster, well big, I guess it's a big, my big rooster junk journal. And I did a whole series on it to show you guys how to make it step by step. But the first step was to paint with acrylic. So I used acrylic paints to paint on the front. So that's definitely one way you could do a cover of a junk journal. So what I do is just use just different acrylic paints. Like you got this one, you got the apple barrel one. This is just like from uh, Walmart, like a cheap, just apple barrel. And then you got the basics, the Liquitex, which are great. So these are just three different kinds of acrylics that you can use. And also I do a little gesso behind it. That's the white back here on the background. And I use a little gesso, which is just the Liquitex basic acrylic gesso. So it's just like this one, the Liquitex but this is acrylic paint and this is the gesso. So it just kind of gives a little tooth to uh, for the acrylic paint to grab onto and just gives it a little, so it you know stays on there better and does a good job. So yeah, so I think acrylic paints are definitely a good way to do a nice junk journal cover. And I just did this on a mailer, just one of the Amazon uh, paper mailers. So that's the cover of this one. Okay, so that's definitely one way to do it, which is very enjoyable, very therapeutic to sit there and paint and do that. So I'll put this to the side. So acrylic paints for sure. And then the second one is collage. So this is like my very, this is my very first junk journal I've ever done. And all I did was just take some uh, book pages, ripped them out, inked them up, uh, I think the ink I used was Crackling Campfire. <laughs> it was the very first inks that I've gotten, and that one's a good one. And I just inked all the edges and then glued it down with, um, what did I glue it down with? I think just a glue stick. I think I just glue sticked it down. And then I took some Mod Podge, which this is the gloss luster. So that's why you could see just the glossy finish to it here. So I did the gloss luster Mod Podge. But if you don't want that, you could do the matte finish. So you just do that over the top after you're all done. And then um, I just, this is part of a little magazine too that I cut out and put that down. And then I did little puff paints, just those little 3D um, fabric paints. So I just used some of that and did that all around and just different collaging. So anything you could think of, you could do. You can even do some tea bags on there, which is a good collage. Um, I know more now because this was my very first one. So tea bags are great. Uh, pattern paper that you get on like a sewing, you know, your sewing pattern paper, that's a great collage. Uh, napkins with decorative stuff on them are great to collage with. And uh, yeah, so Collage is a perfect way to do it. And then also you could do, uh, instead of a glue stick to put it down, you could do glue and water mixture. This is just a glue water mixture, like 50-50. And then you could just take your paintbrush and just paint it down, then add the book pages on or the napkins on, and then uh, take the glue and water and go over the top and do it that way. Uh, and then uh, it's up to you if you want to do Mod Podge over the top of that, but that's just preference if you want. But yeah, so collage. Collage is a great way to do a cover on a junk journal. So that's number two. Okay. So keep that one in mind. I'll put it over there. And then number three here is fabric. I love working with fabric. As you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I incorporate a lot of fabric into my journals, covers, and inside my journals. And uh, 
both of these are in my Etsy shop as of now, so I will link the links below for you. But what we got here is just like a cotton, just like a basic, just like you take, you know, some cotton fabric and, you know, uh, this is just a, I like to use recycle food boxes, like rice box, cracker box, cereal box. Uh, so I did a cereal box with this one and then you just take your fabric and I'll show you. So you just take your fabric and lay it out. Say I have this laid out all flat, you know, opened all the way up. Then you just take your journal and you just put it how you want it. Cut it to size. I always cut it down to the size and I like to have the torn edges here. So I just cut it to size. And then uh, just take my fabric fix. I'll show you. This is a great glue to glue down your fabric journal covers. It is fabric fix? Fabric tack is a good one, and uh, it bonds to fabric lace, leather trims, and more. So it does a really good job. It's just uh, make sure when you're gluing down the fabric to either finger smudge it out or take something just to kind of smooth it because if you have big blobs and then take your fabric and put it down you're going to get seepage and you'll see the glue coming through so you don't want to do that so like if you're going to take it and glue it you know you get it glued down and then you can finger smush it down and then put your fabric on but fabric is definitely i mean it's just a definite good cover for your junk journals and then i just did some papers on the inside but yeah, I mean, that is a really good way to cover a journal is the fabric. And then this is the fabric also, but it's not the cotton. It's more of a, I want to say like an outdoor kind of picnic, you know, like an outdoor kind of cloth. So it's like a thicker, uh, rougher, but it's really just nice to do for a journal. So different kinds of fabrics are fun. Uh, just play with like different things you could do, like burlap is a good one, and uh, linen is a good one. Uh, just different kinds of leather, of course, you know, I mean, that's a definitely a good one. Uh, just the different things you could think of to do as a fabric cover. So those are my three ways. And then I like to, of course, stitch it around too and do that and uh, do all the decorative stitchings and stuff. So yeah, so those are my definitely three ways to do a journal cover. Okay, so here I'll show you guys again. And we got this one, and then we got our big one here. Whoops, I didn't mean to bump you guys. Okay, so we got our big one here, which is the acrylic in the background, which is amazing to use. Fabric, great collage papers or napkins or tea bags or anything like that are great. So a collage cover works too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informational and hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it, like comment and share and let's grow together. All right. Well, thank you guys and keep on crafting.